वेलकम बैक इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू सॉल्व प्रॉब्लम सिक्स डे सेवेंटी थ्री दैट इज टेकन फ्रॉम चैप्टर नंबर सिक्स बैंडिंग एंड बुक नेम इज मैकेनिक्स ऑफ मटीरियल बाय आर सी हिबलर सो स्टेटमेंट इज डिटरमाइन द स्मॉलेस्ट इलाइबल डायमीटर ऑफ द शॉफ्ट विच इज सब्जेक्टेड टू कंसनट्रेटेड फोर्सेज द स्लीव बेरिंग एट ए एन बी सपोर्ट्स ओनली वर्टिकल फोर्सेज एंड द इलाइबल बैंडिंग स्ट्रेस इज ट्वेंटी टू के एस आई सो यू कैन सी दिस इज द शॉफ्ट and there are two concentrated load 400 and 300 is applied at these points and at a and b we have sleeve bearing that only exert vertical reaction forces so allowable bending stress is given so you have to find the allowable smallest allowable diameter of the shaft so let's start with the solution so first step is that if you remove this bearing sleeve bearing at point a so you will be having reaction force r a and similarly if you remove this bearing so you will be having a reaction force rb which is exerted by bearing on this shaft so we will find this ra and rb the free body diagram is already shown over here already drawn so we will find this ra and rb by using equation of equilibrium so first equation of equilibrium is that sum of all moments about point a is equal to 0 and taking the counter clockwise moment as positive so about point a the first moment will be this 400 into perpendicular distance is 12 and this is producing clockwise so it will be negative the second moment will be this rb and now perpendicular distance is this 30 inch and this is producing counter clockwise moment so it will be positive and third moment will be 300 into perpendicular distance is this 45 inch and this is producing clockwise so the sum of all the moment about point a must be equal to 0 so i will write minus 400 into 12 plus rb into 30 minus 300 into 45 will be equal to 0 so when you solve this you will get this rb will be equal to 610 pounds now you have this rb we can find ra by using equation of equilibrium that sum of all forces along y direction must be equal to 0 and upward force is taken as positive so ra is upward minus 400 which is downward plus rb which is upward and that is 610 minus 300 pounds is equal to 0 so from here rb ra is mar a minus 90 is equal to 0 so ra will be equal to 90 pounds now you have ra and rb so we will draw the shear force and bending moment diagram why we draw it because we need we have allowable bending uh, bending stress so we know that allowable bending stress is maximum bending moment into c divided by i so we will need bending moment diagram in order to find the maximum bending moment so what we will do is we will take vertical line from the end of this beam and first we will draw the shear force so here we will take horizontal line to show x in inches and on y axis we have shear force that will be in unit will be in pound okay so let one division is equal to uh, you can see the one division is uh, of uh, 100 so this will be minus 100 minus 200 minus 300 okay so at this point a we have ra so ra is 90 pound so your first point will be let this is your 90 pound this point now moving from point a till point of 400 pounds there is no other shear force it will remain horizontal clear so now this 90 will be horizontal till this point now at this point we have 400 downward so 90 minus 400 will cause it to change it to minus 310 so shear force will change to minus 310 and it will be downward so let this point is minus 310 pounds so it will change to downward now again moving from this point till this point there is no other shear force so it will remain horizontal till this point and we will get a horizontal line this is minus 310 now at point b we have rb which is upward so minus 300 plus rb is 610 will cause it to 
go to 300 pounds so at this point shear force will change to 300 pounds so this is your this is 100 200 so this will be 300 so you are this is the point not this it will be like here this point so at this point it will be 300 pounds so shear force will change from minus 310 to 300 now moving from b till end there is no other shear force so it will also remain horizontal line and at the end you can see minus 300 that is downward will cause it to zero clear so this is your shear force diagram now with the help of this shear force diagram we will draw the bending moment diagram for that i will draw a horizontal line to show the length x in inch and on y axis we will have moment that will be having unit pound into inch let each division is hundred uh, thousand you can choose at per your scale two thousand similarly minus thousand minus two thousand minus three thousand and minus four thousand and minus five thousand okay so at point a at origin we have moment will be equal to zero because x is equal to zero now the area under the shear force diagram will give you bending moment so this is the first area that this is a1 and this area is equal to 90 which is the height and this length which is 12 clear so when you multiply it it will give you 1080 so at this length we have moment 1080 so it will be somewhere here so let this point is 1080 now you can see shear force is a horizontal line with 0 degree and this area is positive so bending moment will be 1 degree higher it will be a linear straight line and the slope will be increasing so we will join these two points okay this is the point not this point this will be the point let me correct it let this point is 1080 80. so this is the first point now the second area is this area and this area is let this area is a2 and this a2 is equal to this length which is minus 310 into width 18 so this will give you minus 5580 clear so moment at this length will be equal to 1080 plus minus 55 Eight zero will cause it to minus four thousand five hundred and this will be somewhere here clear so we will first locate this point so this point this is minus five thousand so this point will be somewhere here so it is minus four thousand five hundred now you can see shear force is a horizontal line and this area is negative so bending moment will be one degree higher but its slope will be decreasing it will be a straight line so we'll join these two point using straight line and the last area is this A3 and this A3 is equal to 300 multiplied by this width which is 15 inch and that is equal to 4500. So at this point the moment will be minus 4500 plus 4500 will be cause it to zero. So this will be the moment. Now you can see that shear force is a horizontal line and this area is positive. So bending moment will be one degree higher and slope will be increasing and it will be a straight line linear line of one degree so this is your bending moment diagram bmd bmd now you can see from this bmd from bmd we have maximum absolute value of bending moment is equal to minus four thousand five hundred and unit will be pound into inch which will give you maximum bending moment absolute value of maximum bending moment is 4500 pounds into inch we know that maximum bending uh, or maximum or allowable bending stress is equal to maximum bending moment into c divided by i so we have a circular shaft having diameter d so its radius will be equal to c so diameter is equal to 2 times c okay so we are going to find the radius and then we will convert it into c and i for 
I is the moment of inertia and moment of inertia for circular shaft having radius is equal to pi by 4 c power 4 where c is equal to radius clear so you can put the value sigma allowable bending stress is given as 22 ksi so we will write it uh, 22 ksi so 22 into 10 to power 3 will be equal to 22 into 10 to power 3 psi pound per square inch maximum bending moment is 4500 pound into inch and c is there divided by pi by 4 c power 4 so from here you will get this one c will cut with this so we will be having c3 so i will write c3 is equal to 4500 divided by pi by 4 multiply by 22 into 10 to the power 3 and when you take the cubic root on both side using your calculator so you will get this c will be equal to 0 0.639 inch now you will need the diameter so diameter we know that diameter is equal to two times of radius which is c so i will write 2 multiply by 0 0.639 inch and this diameter d will be equal to 1.28 inch and which is the answer of this question and that was uh, diameter d of this shaft for the allowable bending stress and for the given loading shown that was all about this problem 6-73 i hope you have enjoyed this video and you have learned from it those who are new to my channel then subscribe it and don't forget to press the bell icon so that you can get notification about my latest videos if you have any question you can ask me in comment section thank you for watching